area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Personals is fucking real. We need that. That's, that could be the motherfucking nail in the coffin if it's the right personal. You know what I mean? So you definitely gotta dig your dirt up before these battles, cause a nigga will dig dirt up on you, though. Do not think he won't. So you know I got dirt for this nigga. It's battle rap, man. I've 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 been hit with some of them. Um, I dished out some of them. You get what I'm saying? Yo, 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 bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat. We gotta speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Click and blend, follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to everyone that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. So what it's looking like, Hollow the Don, salute to Hollow the Don, battling again on some madness. He was he just battled Rum Nitty. Uh, this is probably the closest I've seen Hollow battle in a long time, like battle for battle. Uh, the battle with Rum Nitty just happened, and now he's spinning the block battling again against K-Shine. Haven't seen K-Shine in, you know, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying, a little bit. He did a two-on-two -two with Kid Chaos, and then, you know what I'm saying, he had to join with Chilla earlier in the year, or whatever the case may be, but he's back now versus Hollow the Don on Summer Madness. Um, it's a lot, it's about five, it's gonna be about five or six, looking like the, the Ultimate Madness guys. Easy to block captain versus Chess just got announced. That's gonna be crazy uh, seeing that energy. Easy to block captain getting this shot. I've always said the newest guy who's on fire needs to get that look. You know, Wavy had got the look, Twerk had got the look, Av had got that look. You know what I'm saying? Like that, 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 that summer madness is like you getting the biggest push, the biggest run, the biggest, you know what I'm saying? The people got that joint done. There was a lot of people, there was a lot of fans, there was a lot of blogs, there was a lot of everything who really put the pressure on to make that battle happen. You know what I'm saying? URL can say what they want, but niggas know. When that card came out, niggas was like, oh, no, 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 no. Drop some new shit. We not gonna do this. Like, and it was on. Niggas, niggas said what they said. Now the battle's been booked. These guys got a month. It should be a war between Easy to Block Captain and Chess. But uh, let's get to this hollow, man. Uh, he, he basically talked about his face off and he said what was uh, what went on, whatever the case may be. And he talked about K Shine, you know, having to calm down a little Yorkie. You know what I mean, saying that he tried to fight him. We know, see, you know, the thing about K Shine, K Shine in faceoffs and in battles and just in in life in general. You know what I'm saying? He's a high energy dude. You know what I'm saying? He gets to talking his shit. You know, he'll, he'll crowd your space. He'll talk heavy. You know what I'm saying? He he gets hype, especially when he feels like there's blood in the water. That's just what he does. That's it. He's a high energy dude. You know what I'm saying? Some people will try to say it's a Napoleon complex because he's short, but nah, overall, he's very serious about his craft. He takes what he does serious, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is just who he is as a person. So the Energy Don Hollow says, I did a face-off yesterday. Of course, Kayshawn almost fought me. I kept it professional and calmed the little Yorkie down. Can you Kayshawn fans tell him, leave that fake tough guy at home so he don't ruin the battle in Houston, please? for the culture basically saying that k shine can you please leave the super thug act at home because we're not trying to do nothing but battle that's all he wants he's saying he don't want none of the extra shit none of the you know my set this and i bang that and the the the, 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 the tooly dump the tool dumping the tool dumping all he's like yo what franchise is that too you know what i'm saying like the tool lift the tool i ain't seen franchise in a while i think they said that the border was closed and niggas couldn't come back and forth to america or some shit like that i don't know but let's stick to the topic so hollow was basically saying that you know k shine like he tried to fight <laughs> he tried to fight it i don't i guess we'll see you know what i'm saying like you know face off you know niggas be getting a little energetic you know what i'm saying i seen when arsenal and Cass had their face off you know what i'm saying that shit was a little different niggas was wild so now you know yeah, I guess that's part of, people look at it as like part of the battle, like if a nigga gets walked around or, or, or talk too crazy in the face off, niggas will automatically think they're going to win the battle, lose the battle. And that's not always the case. You have some people that are high energy folks who love that barking and 
getting in people's face and shit like that. And you got other people who's just gonna be laid back like, yeah, all right, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. And when they're on that stage, that's when they're gonna show what really needs to be shown. Uh, like I said, I never took Hollow to Dawn as being one who uh, who sits there and will be wilding and, and doing anything extra for a battle, you know what I'm saying? Like I know he's just the type of person that he's gonna go with the motions. Uh, he's, like I said, before this card that just passed, there had never been an event that Hollow to Dawn was on that he didn't headline. I mean, he's not headlining Summer Madness now either. But this is like a second event in a row that he has not headlined. Every single other event except for the one round secret battle where these niggas came through like a dungeon on King of the Dot and Battle of Disaster. Every single other battle he's had has always been a headline or a main event. You know what I'm saying? Is he transitioning to another stage in his career as to where he could still be a top tier MC that gets booked on big cards but he's just not the main guy anymore? That could be the thing. But... He could be running out of those big name matchups to have. He already battled Sue Surf. He already battled Charlie Clips. He already battled Loaded Lux. He battled with Loaded Lux. You know what I'm saying? He's already bat a lot of those big name, bigger battles that he could have had. He's had them already. You know what I'm saying? And now he's battled from the, and now he's about to battle versus K. Shine. But that I've always said, as far as K. Shine goes, he was never the guy that was the big highlight guy any the big name guy highlights yes but the biggest name on the top of the card he wasn't that i think his really first big highlight main event was him versus hitman on summer madness six yeah so you know and that was actually that was actually a pretty good battle but uh since then you know what i'm saying he's been he's been a top tier mc he continues to be one he continues to get big battles he continues to, and then in two on twos when he's with dna doing the nwx thing they always find their way to the top of cards, you know what I'm saying? I think them versus Loaded Hollows would have been fire. And I think them two versus uh, the, the yeah. Yeah, Loaded Hollows. Yeah, I wanted to see them. But now you got K-Shine versus Hollow to Dawn straight up. I thought it would be more so K-Shine versus Daylight because they had some history amongst one each other. And they was talking shit to each other, going back and forth. But it turned out to be Shine versus um, Hollow to Dawn. Um, like I said, Hollow, the thing about him in this battle, battling on a big stage, he's going to have to find a way to capture the crowd because k Shine's performance is more so catered towards bigger crowds. It's more so creative. Like you've seen him do this shit against the Rum Nitties, against a lot of these other motherfuckers on big stages. Where K Shine, he just he just has that presence. He's got that he's got that growl. He's got everything to him that caters to big stages. Hollow got different pockets of flows. Like you done done you done done you rum done. Like he can he can go into different pockets of flows, but it's about that shit translating on the big stage. And I know Hollow. Uh, spent time in Houston. I know he's from Queens, but he spent time in Houston. He's got a good fan base down there So I don't know if that'll take take or give him anything like in battle rap There's no real such thing as a home court advantage because I've seen niggas from LA get mad props in New York. I've seen niggas from New York get props in LA You know what I'm saying but there be some of them closed events where they be having like mad LA niggas in there And then they bring somebody over there that'd be a home court advantage because them niggas be having mad gas in there, but um, Hollow's really concerned because he don't really be voicing his opinion about certain shit like this. So if he's saying <laughs> That he can't shy to try to fight me and to keep you I had to calm your little Yorkie down it's probably for a reason. Like, k Shine probably was really in his bag trying to bully Hollow to Dawn, and I don't know if that's going to work well because there's been mad niggas who tried to, like, go the gangster route with Hollow, and, you know, sometimes it doesn't really come off well. It comes off a little cringy. Like, him versus Math, he just wasn't in the right place during that battle mentally because you have niggas that he had real-life street issues with, with the business and the clothing, them niggas are standing right there. You got niggas in front of them, in the back of them. They had to sneak them in through the fucking chimney like Santa Claus and shit. So that battle just was not a good battle. It was not a good look for him. But I feel like he's in a different place in his life now where he's doing bigger shit. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's got a different kind of energy. And I hope that, you know, he brings it versus uh, K-Shine. I think that this battle could be either very well or it could be good on both sides. Or this shit can go really quick. But for the most part, it's trending in a good direction. Overall, now, 
with the addition of Easy to Block Captain vs. Chess, with the, you know what I'm saying, with all things considered, you got some, you got some, <laughs> now you got a motherfucking card. I just knew these niggas was not gonna let the summer pass without Easy to Block Captain vs. Chess. That shit could not happen like that. That just couldn't happen like that. That's not gonna, that ain't gonna work, big baby. I'm sorry. Like, we ain't. Ah, we not we don't gotta be friends, but we definitely ain't gotta be enemies, man, with this battle rap shit. Cause I know at times, you know, bigger companies, be that as they may, uh, they 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 take offense sometimes to the things that bloggers say and media say. Not the ones that you can control. Like if you can control it, it's a good thing. Cause you can tell niggas like, yo, don't say this, yo, don't say that, yo, don't put this out, yo, why'd you put that out? I've been in situations where you put out a blog and you literally get a phone call like 10 minutes later, yo, this person wasn't feeling it, oh, no, 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 no. But now, years and years and years and years later, I can say whatever I want. And I know for a fact that I'm not gonna get a phone call because a lot of these niggas don't got my number. I changed my number some years ago. So niggas can't call me and tell me, why you say this, why you say that, when you say this, it is what it is. It's just gonna be what it is and it will be what it will be. Um, but what I will say is uh, I like the card now. Uh, it, it's definitely got some fire to it. Uh, I want this Hollow versus uh, K-Shine to be a very good battle though. But Hollow to Don definitely said that K-Shine tried to fight him. Oh my God. I don't know what <laughs> how that came about or what that entailed. I'm sure we will see in the coming weeks how that transpired but uh that's 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 kind of crazy hopefully the cooler heads <laughs> prevail and we get a dope ass battle but other than that man salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content whether religiously or in passing uh we're probably gonna be doing some things special for some instagram followers in a few you know what i'm saying uh, make sure that you follow the kid on instagram vada underscore fly tell your mama i said hi so you don't miss out you know what i'm saying other than that get with me game